Ever pondered about the origins of the world's largest coral reef system, the grandeur of the Great Barrier Reef that stretches over 2,300 kilometers along the northeast coast of Australia didn't happen overnight. Its birth is a tale that takes us back 20 million years into the past. A time when the first coral reefs began to form, laying the foundation for what would become a marvel of the natural world. These early reefs, however, were not the same as the vibrant underwater city we see today. In fact, the current structure of the Great Barrier Reef is much younger, a mere six to 8,000 years old. That's right, the reef as we know it formed after the last ice age, when melting glaciers caused the sea levels to rise and flood the continental shelves. This flooding created the perfect conditions for corals to flourish, and over time these tiny, soft-bodied creatures built the largest living structure on Earth, visible even from space. From polyps smaller than a grain of rice to massive coral colonies, the reef grew layer by layer year by year into a complex 3D structure of limestone. The Great Barrier Reef is not just a single continuous entity, it's a vast collection of nearly 3,000 individual reefs and 900 islands, each with its own unique characteristics. Its size is mind-boggling, larger than Italy and even rivaling the size of Japan. But the reef's true beauty lies not just in its size but in its vibrant and diverse ecosystem, teeming with life. From the colorful corals that form the backbone of the reef, to the multitude of fish, birds and mammals that call it home, the Great Barrier Reef is a living testament to the wonders of evolution and the power of nature. From its humble beginnings millions of years ago, the Great Barrier Reef has grown into a vibrant and complex ecosystem. A stunning testament to the intricate dance between life and the environment and a reminder of nature's incredible capacity for growth and transformation. Did you know that the Great Barrier Reef is home to an incredibly diverse array of species? Quite like a bustling city teeming with life, the reef is a dynamic ecosystem that hosts an astounding variety of marine life. Take a moment to dive into this underwater wonderland and you'll be greeted by over 1,500 species of fish, each with their own unique traits and behaviors. From the vibrant clownfish hiding amongst the stinging tentacles of anemones, to the elusive and predatory shark species, the reef is a mosaic of life in all its forms. The reef's architecture, however, is largely credited to the 400 types of coral that call it home. These corals are not just rocks or plants but are actually colonies of tiny animals called polyps. Together, they create a mesmerizing tapestry of colors and shapes that forms the backbone of this ecosystem. And it's not just about the fish and corals. There are also over 4,000 species of mollusk that reside in the reef. These include the giant clam, which can grow up to 4 feet long, and the colorful nudibranch, a type of sea slug that is as beautiful as it is bizarre. But the reef isn't just a habitat, it's also a crucial breeding ground. Each year, humpback whales journey from the Antarctic to the warmer waters of the reef to breed and give birth. Their haunting songs fill the ocean, a symphony of nature that signals the circle of life continues. Let's not forget the dugongs often referred to as sea cows. These gentle giants depend heavily on the seagrass beds found in the reef for survival, making them a significant part of this diverse ecosystem. All these species from the smallest coral polyp to the largest humpback whale contribute to the reef's rich biodiversity, forming a complex web of life that is as fascinating as it is fragile. The Great Barrier Reef is a bustling metropolis of marine life, a testament to the power of nature. Each creature, each coral, plays a vital role in this underwater city, making it one of the most biodiverse places on our planet. Humans have been interacting with the Great Barrier Reef for tens of thousands of years, but do you know the story? Our tale begins with the indigenous Australians, who have had a profound relationship with the reef for over 60,000 years. These First Nations people view the reef as a sacred place, a source of life and spirituality. They've relied on it for sustenance, using its bounty to feed their communities, while their cultural practices and spiritual beliefs have been interwoven with the reef's rhythms and cycles. Their stories, passed down through generations, speak of the reef not just as a resource, but as a living entity to be respected and protected. Fast forward to the 18th century, when the reef was discovered by Europeans. Navigator James Cook first encountered the Great Barrier Reef in 1770, when his ship, the Endeavour, ran aground on what is now known as Endeavour Reef. This was a perilous introduction yet it opened the door to a new world of scientific exploration and discovery. 
From this point the reef began to capture the imagination of the Western world, its intricate beauty and vast expanse, inspiring awe and curiosity. As we move into the 20th century, the Great Barrier Reef's allure only intensified. It began to develop as a tourism destination, attracting visitors from around the globe. In the 1950s, the first commercial flights to Cairns began, making the reef more accessible than ever. This marked the start of a tourism boom, with the reef's stunning beauty, diverse marine life, and pristine waters drawing millions of visitors each year. Today, tourism in the Great Barrier Reef generates over $6 billion annually and supports tens of thousands of jobs. The Great Barrier Reef has been a significant part of human history, a source of sustenance, discovery, and wonder. From the ancestral stories of the indigenous Australians to the scientific explorations of the modern era, the reef has always enchanted and inspired. Its story is our story, a tale of human interaction with nature in all its breathtaking complexity. The Great Barrier Reef is facing significant challenges. Do you know what they are? The reef, a marvel of nature, is currently under siege. The threats, climate change, pollution and overfishing. First let's talk about climate change. The rise in global temperature causes the ocean to heat up, resulting in a phenomenon known as coral bleaching. When the water is too warm, corals get stressed and expel the algae living in their tissues causing them to turn white or bleach. This is not just about aesthetics. Without the algae, the corals lose a significant source of food and become more susceptible to disease. Next up, pollution. It's not just the plastic bags and bottles we're worried about. Industrial runoff and agricultural pesticides also find their way into the ocean, causing harmful algal blooms that block sunlight and stifle the growth of corals. Sediment from land development can also smother corals and inhibit their growth. Overfishing, the third culprit, disrupts the delicate balance of the reef's ecosystem. Certain species of fish are crucial for the health of coral reefs. They eat algae and keep it from overgrowing and choking the corals. When these fish are overfished, algae can take over and the reefs can slowly die. But it's not all doom and gloom. Efforts are being made to protect and conserve the reef. Scientists are researching ways to make corals more resilient to warming waters. Regulations have been put in place to control overfishing and reduce pollution. Conservation groups are working to educate the public about the importance of the reef and how we can help protect it. The battle for the Great Barrier Reef is a tough one. Coral bleaching events have increased in frequency and severity, causing a significant loss of coral cover, but the fight is far from over. With concerted efforts and global cooperation we can help ensure that this natural wonder continues to thrive. The future of the Great Barrier Reef hangs in the balance but together we can make a difference. You might be wondering, how can I help save the Great Barrier Reef? Well, you'd be surprised how seemingly small actions can have a big impact. Firstly, let's talk about carbon footprints. These are the total greenhouse gas emissions caused by an individual, event, organization or product. The larger the footprint, the greater the environmental impact. So, how can we reduce our carbon footprint? Simple, it's all about making more sustainable choices. Opt for public transportation, cycling or walking instead of driving. Choose renewable energy sources and aim to consume less and recycle more. It might seem like a drop in the ocean, but if we all do our part, the cumulative effect can be significant. Secondly, consider supporting the organizations dedicated to conserving the reef. These groups work tirelessly to research, monitor and protect this precious ecosystem. They rely on public donations to fund their efforts. So why not chip in if you can? Even a small contribution can make a difference. Now, let's talk about responsible tourism. If you're planning a visit to the reef, there are ways to ensure your trip doesn't harm this fragile environment. Choose eco-friendly tour operators who respect the reef's regulations and remember to avoid touching the coral or disturbing the wildlife whenever you're in the water. And of course, always take your rubbish with you when you leave. Lastly, spread the word. Talk to your friends, family and social media followers about the importance of saving the Great Barrier Reef. The more people understand and care about this issue, the more support there will be for conservation efforts. Every action counts. Together, we can help ensure the Great Barrier Reef continues to thrive for generations to come. Please leave a comment like share this video and subscribe for more valuable content.